द रशियन न्यूक्लियर इंडस्ट्री इज सेलिब्रेटिंग एट्टी ईयर्स ऑफ इट्स एग्जिस्टेंस आई एम एट द वर्ल्ड एटॉमिक वीक इन मॉस्को एंड आई हैव विथ मी डॉक्टर वी के सारस्वत मेंबर साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर नीति आयोग नमस्कार सर नमस्कार सो गुड टू सी यू ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ मॉस्को रिवर सर हाउ एग्रेसिव इज आर न्यू न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी प्रोग्राम विद द न्यू मिशन विच हैज बीन अनाउंस फॉर हंड्रेड गीका वॉट्स आई थिंक गवर्नमेंट एंड द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एटोमिक एनर्जी एंड द कंट्री एज ए होल is moving very very fast in terms of achieving the goal of 100 gigawatts the necessary policy changes the policy reforms the necessary initiatives in research and development necessary resources to be put for extra human development all of them are being simultaneously progressed by the country for example if you take in a very very short time of less than 6 months today we are at the verge of completing the reforms as far as the atomic energy act is concerned the most likely in the next 3 to 4 months it will be operational so we'll so, have an amended atomic energy act which yes. will permit private sector participation in fact i was about to tell you that the purpose of the modifications in the atomic energy act is basically to to accelerate the participation of the private sector because it has been very clearly understood that if india has to achieve a target of 100 gigawatts if we have to bring down the cost of smrs if we have to do factory manufacturing of smrs if we have to also accelerate our large reactor programs there's no other way but to include private sector into the journey and fortunately after the announcement by the government of india and in the budget when they said that India's aim is today 100 gigawatts. India's aim is to have SMRs, small modular reactors. Yeah, the small modular reactors. The kind of reaction of the industry is very, very positive. In fact, I have seen in this World Atomic Week since yesterday I am here. The number of Indian industries who have come here today to set up international collaboration. to feel what kind of resources would be needed to feel what is the kind of a market it is the phenomenon almost every big corporate house is present here that only shows that the trigger which has been provided by the government of india is really working very very well in fact many people have come sir when are we getting the orders <laughs> that is the kind of excitement which exists today so will we also get in place a new liability regime yeah when we talk of the um, uh, atomic energy act modifications civil nuclear liability uh, the cln clause is adequately brought in line with the international postures and hence i don't think there is going to be any problem in any civil liability issues in future so, so what will be our main state technology will it be pressurized heavy water reactors a mix of pswrs and lwrs which is of imported design on small modular our main focus is today to manufacture the 700 and 220 megawatt reactors in fleet mode because that's a very proven design and the cost of electricity is very much affordable we have already identified the sites and even the industry has been helping us in the realization of these systems so that is our priority one area in the large reactors the relationship what we have with uh, rosatom russia russia in uh, for the vvr which is kudan kudan number 1 number 2 and now 3 and 4 under construction is going to be the next stage at least six of those reactors will get set up we also hope that we will have another six that will also come forward so that will be a good 12 number so if you see because that's in the region of 1000 1200 megawatts so if we have got that kind of a push the target which we are talking of that by about 2035 we should have about 24 to 25 gigawatts i think it is reachable now comes the integration of the nuclear energy with the renewables correct 
and in that direction the basic requirement is to build small modular nuclear reactors and india's program announcement the but very clearly bring out that it will be an international collaboration maybe with russia and maybe with other actors but i i presume that if we are looking at the most mature technology in this area which is available today it is from russia absolutely so That's small are, modular reactor the, in, floating in, reactor in, in the in the exhibition also you have seen ritm 200 klt 40 and all these offshore and onshore sure. reactors which are available i think these are the reactors which are matured enough and india should be in a position to work with russia and accelerate its smr program so this is one possibility indigenous development of our own as ms smr is the bharat small modular bharat small modular reactor has already been taken up you must have heard dr mohanty in the vienna conference the kind of progress we have made in that direction so it is a combination of large reactors and the small modular reactors which will be the bedrock of india's nuclear energy policy for achieving the goal of 100 gigawatts so you are excited about nuclear energy prospects in india i am very much excited as i mentioned in the conference and the panel discussion if india has to meet its increased energy demand in the next two decades we need to get almost 20000 terawatt hours per year nuclear energy even to support the ever increasing renewable energy induction in the energy mix no way we can achieve that unless we have the nuclear energy as our main portfolio how will we convince the larger public that nuclear energy is good for india we don't have much of an opposition towards that i think we have to do a little um, uh, excess uh, aggressive uh, canvassing on this front the outreach programs which are needed the stories which have happened in countries where lot of uh, opposition was there for the nuclear power all those no sayers have become a sayers yes, today correct the stories are going around that many of those who used to say no once upon a time are today saying yes that means the safety reliability and the security of the nuclear energy has been well established well over now india has to showcase these success rates even countries who have switched off their nuclear reactors after fukushima are coming, back. are coming back into the fold of nuclear energy to meet their energy demand so you can imagine that if this is the requirement i think our country also will be able to appreciate that if we have to become a developed country if we have to meet our ever increasing energy demand there's no other option but to use the nuclear power india has some resources of nuclear fuels i think we should somehow remove the embargoes which have been put by some of the states in that direction and we should start mining our own uranium we should start mining our own thorium and hence reduce our dependence on import we should do that as early as possible so should we go to thorium soon and how likely are we to go to in thorium? fact i am of the opinion while i appreciate india's the uh, three stage program but i know that if we go in the conventional form to wait for the second stage to be completed for the third stage to get in action is going to take some time but we have to use thorium as early as possible in that direction i think i have mentioned that earlier also the new fuel which has been developed now the anil fuel by the indian american company which uses thorium and enriched uranium what we call as halu i think we should immediately start using it in our phwr so at least in that area we will not use the uranium to be used and thorium will be utilized in maximum the advantage of that is the spent fuel comes down in drastically the radioactivity of the spent fuel also is much less the number of bundles to be loaded in the reactor also comes down i think this is one area which we should uh, immediately launch so that our work on thorium starts second thing is i think many countries are today working on thorium reactors we should start looking at our hwr to be pushed as a thorium reactor which was not using the uranium 233 which was using something else i think that hwr program also should be put on fast track 
But DAE seems to be dragging its feet on AHWR. No, it is not dragging. I think it's basically setting the right priorities. I think they have realized now that thorium has to come as early as possible because India has thorium reserves. India doesn't have much of the uranium reserves. So if we don't use thorium and wait for the complete second stage to get operational, which is going to take time because how many fast breeder reactors have to be set up to get adequate quantity of sure. uranium-233 for running the third stage. So this is a question of time and money which you are going to spend. But AHWR has been proven once it has been run. It's a question now perfecting it. So I think you, DAE, Government of India, everybody should start looking at it in a priority manner. But there is a feeling that like you had reforms in the Department of Space and that it's got a certain Philip and energy in that sector that a reform is needed in the establishment of the atomic energy establishment and especially DAE. How likely are we to see reforms there? I or can, is it uh, imperative for them to reform? I can only say that if we have to really implement all the uh, indicators as given in the modified uh, atomic energy act the mechanism to coordinate production with the help of the private sector and in the private sector has to be an independent body which should be able to do this job if we leave it to the existing uh, centers of the department of atomic energy it is not likely to get the right momentum Plus, there will be a lot of conflict of interest because the same person will be doing multiple jobs. So, I think it is required that we should create a system which will manage the production of design, development and production of nuclear power plants, both large and small, uh, in the private sector by coordination from a government body which will be able to provide them the resources the technical advice, the technology transfer, international collaboration, supply chain management, and as decided in the Atomic Energy Act, ensure that safety, reliability of the design and security are properly done by the government autonomous body. So we need a new independent regulator for nuclear we, energy and we, not the atomic energy regulatory board which comes under the department of atomic no, energy atomic energy regulator regulatory board is good enough but what we need to do is we have to make it more autonomous so more empowered more empowered body so excited and that hopeful that 100 gigawatts would be achieved it is a target which we have set in i know it is a very uh, tough target but i think unless we set the very very huge tough targets we don't revive, regenerate the whole system. So I think in that direction, government has set a good target that has actually spurred up the excitement in the nuclear fraternity, the nuclear establishment in the Indian industry. And I'm sure if not 100 gigawatts, we'll go closer to that. Thanks a lot for speaking to me, Dr. Saraswat. Yeah. From missiles to energy to all kinds of technology we have spoken and first time we are speaking on the banks of the Moscow River. So that was Dr. V.K. Saraswat, member science and technology, telling us that India's target of 100 gigawatts of nuclear energy is achievable and the private sector has to play a role in that. Quick camera person, Gauri Prasad, in Moscow, Russia, Palav Bagla for NDTV.